Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another cash stuffing. In today's cash stuffing, it's going to be a little bit less than what I normally do. We are going to be cash stuffing a total of $180 for about two and a half weeks currently. So if you are not new to this channel, you will understand that I am still on basically unpaid medical leave until further notice. So we definitely have to be more frugal with what we are gonna be purchasing for the next two weeks or so. So let's go ahead and get into it. And we are gonna stuff 180, and I did have $10 of rollover for Costco, so that is really good news. And we'll just go ahead and get started. I have all of my bills laid out here. We're gonna be stuffing groceries, Costco, my envelope, house expense, my son's envelope, and my boyfriend's envelope. So let's go ahead and get started. Groceries is going to be getting $100. So I'm gonna do this in 20s and probably, so that's 40, 50, and then I'm gonna do two 20s, and then I'm gonna do some ones, okay? So 20, 40, actually we'll do a five here. 20, 40, five, and then we're gonna do some ones here. One, two, three, four, five. So let's make sure we have a hundred in here. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the envelope here. And then I'm going to put the other half in the envelope that I take with me in my wallet. And that's going to be my expenses for the next seven days for groceries. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. And next we're gonna do Costco. Costco already has $10 and we are only gonna be adding 40. So we're gonna go ahead and do 10 and 15, and we'll just do some ones. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we got 20 there. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, oops, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, plus that $10. So let me go ahead and count this again just to make sure we have the correct denominations. Oh, let me move these here. Okay, sorry, lots of ones today. 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, oops, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we have a total of 50 in Costco which we are gonna be going to Costco probably tomorrow. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I live in New Mexico and I live in the mountainous regions of New Mexico. So we actually are experiencing a winter storm warning and we probably have about two inches of snow right now as I'm filming this. Okay, next my envelope is getting $10. So I'll just do the 10 here. Next envelope is house expense. House expense is also going to get a $10 bill. Let me see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I'm sorry, it'll be a five and five ones. And then My babes and my son are both going to get $10, but since I only have a 20, I'm probably going to have to break this. So let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and use Costco as an example of kind of showing you 
what you need to do when you need to improvise. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out these two tens from Costco, put this 20 in here. So I just have made change for those last two envelopes. So let's go back. $10 for Babe and $10 for my little one. So here we go and we are all set. We are not stuffing fun and we are not stuffing date nights. So honestly, since we are extra budgeting for the foreseeable future, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my long-term binder. And those are just going to sit there until we can stuff them. So that is the wonderful thing about cash stuffing. Sometimes you can stuff all of your envelopes and sometimes, unfortunately, you can't. But you got to keep on going and still be consistent. So groceries has 50, Costco has 50, my envelope has 10, house expense has 10, babe has 10, and my son has 10. So that is gonna be a total, plus my $10 rollover, a total of $190 that we are gonna be working with for the next two weeks. I am so excited to be designing those cash breakdowns for the bank slips. And I'm also going to be doing some more filming on what I do when I am putting together my budget for the next couple of weeks and just take you along that journey and how I utilize whatever funds I have and make that dollar stretch as much as possible. But thank you for tuning in and I appreciate all of the love and the sport. I'm sorry, love and the support for this platform. And as we do in all of my videos, if no one has told you that you're loved and appreciated, I'm telling you right now. Bye friends, I'll see you really soon in another video.